Well, our favorite director and administrator is here today. We're going to talk about was the severe, severe weather pattern we're facing that keeps like, like to increase every year. And uh, we want to make sure that we're in a position to be able to help Americans all across the country and in all our jurisdictions as these severe weather incidents have increased. The last few days alone, we've seen droughts and wildfires in the west. We've seen tornadoes in Illinois flooding in the south and uh, in the mid-Atlantic. And extreme weather doesn't confine itself, as you all know, uh, to state lines. These crises uh, require proactive federal response. It's just not just the states responding. And I know that, uh, that uh, your team, uh, Administrator, is going to uh, raise uh, be faced with a lot of challenges this year, more than most. And not that you're not used to it, but it's going to, this time, it's the whole country. And we've already stepped up uh, this year to help vaccinate uh, the American people and respond to the, uh, but now we have to respond to these brutal storms. Um, and uh, more severe storms and fires that extend into uh, longer seasons throughout the year. And we're, we're gonna bring every resource to bear to be prepared, respond, and to help people recover. But it's a big job. And we're making sure FEMA and other frontline agencies have what they need continue getting the job done. And I insist on being ready for whatever comes our way. That's what this is all about. And that's what we're here today about. And I'll be hosting a meeting next week of Western Governors and uh, uh, FEMA and the Cabinet members to uh, prepare for heat, drought, and wildfires in the West. And uh, so I want to thank everybody for being here today. And let me just say one other thing. You know. I was talking with my staff a moment ago in the office about uh, wildfires. And, uh, and uh, you know, the thing I know a little bit about is the fire service. Um, and there's, a, there's an old expression, God made man, and then he made a few firefighters. They are, they have a higher incidence of severe injuries than police officers do. They are incredibly, incredibly brave in what they do. They run to the fire, and uh, and I just realized I didn't realize this. I have to admit that federal firefighters get paid thirteen dollars an hour. That's going to end in my administration. That's a ridiculous low uh, salary to pay a federal firefighter. Not that many federal firefighters, but uh, and, and and I know you use all the resources, including state and local firefighters. But at any rate. That's what we're going to talk about today. We'll be brought up to date what we can expect this season. Uh, and many of you have covered what's already happened. And the drought in the West is just astounding when you take a look at it. Fires have already started, flooding. So we're in for a tough season, but I think we've got to be prepared, have every resource available to make sure we're there for America. Thank you all so very much.